Jay, yesterday uh, after game five, Ryan Snatton said, we're going to answer the bell. You guys answered it in a big way with Josh Carey getting his first first of the postseason. Yeah, I thought it was a really well-played hockey game by both teams. Um, seemed like a heavyweight prize fight where it was just uh, both teams featured great goaltending, uh, good special teams, um, defended well, and then in overtime it kind of opened up a little bit um, with both teams getting some quality chances. And at the end of the day, we found that moment uh, on a, a one face-off, uh, face-off play, and uh, it was nice to see Josh shoot one in the net for us. Talk about the play. Uh, I know we'll probably focus on Josh Curry a little bit here, but talk about the play Ryan McLeod makes. He wins the faceoffs, goes directly to the net, opens up the slot for Josh Curry. Just maybe talk about 28's IQ in that situation. Well, um, 28 has a good IQ, 18 has a good IQ, and 16 has a good IQ. They had a plan of what they wanted to do. I heard them talking about it on the on the bench. It's one of the things in their arsenal uh, as a line, uh, but it doesn't happen unless you win a faceoff. And I, I've been very impressed with the way McLeod has come in against a, an excellent faceoff team in San Diego and uh, the ability for him to come in and assert his dominance uh, on the dot uh, has been great. It's not typical for younger players. I think it sets him up uh, well going forward. But um, what I liked is that they had a plan. They went out and executed it. and. At the end of the day, they found the all-important moment in the game and helped us win. A lot we talked of all year about how much everybody in that room plays in in the success of this team, whether they're playing much or not. Tonight, you had a lot of guys in there that have not been playing. Can you talk about their contribution and how much that meant? Well, let's start in that. How about there? Um, Stuart Skinner uh, started the playoffs not dressing, and uh, now. Um, He's played in the last three games in round number two, so uh, and has given us a chance to win every night. So it, let's start there. I thought Jake Kulovich came in under tough circumstances, and you talk about a uh, popular teammate, a guy who lays it on the line every day in practice, who accepts uh, his role and comes to the rink with a smile on his face and a work ethic that would uh, uh, make anyone proud. Uh, for him to get his opportunity and shine so bright like he did today, I thought was excellent. I thought Nolan VC and Cameron Hebig gave us some great minutes up front. They gave us young, fresh legs. They were hard. They were heavy. They got pucks behind the other team's D. Um, I thought it was an advantage of our team uh, today. I thought we played more players than they did. If you looked at the minutes after the game, we used more players. Um, we were harder on pucks and eventually... Um, it led to us cracking them in double overtime. Is Stewart your guy? Sorry? Is, is uh, Stewart your guy uh, for game six? Well, I think we're going to enjoy it tonight for about 10 or 15 minutes, <laughs> and then uh, you're, you're going to get sick of me saying that. But uh, we're going to enjoy it for 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, we're going to rest and, and get ready to get on a bus tomorrow, and we'll make that decision come game time. Jay, what's to say about the series? Five games, three overtime, two of them deep into the night overtime games. Well, I think it says that this is a series with two very evenly matched teams, uh, two teams um, with um, players who are laying it all on the line and trying to pay the price to win. The stakes are high, and um, what it says about our team is that in a 3-1 situation, we approach the game with a Game 7-like mindset. Um, we talked about making sure that we demonstrated our will and care to keep playing. And uh, I thought our guys did that tonight. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to rest and we're going to get on a bus and, and prepare for a very uh, tough game number six. But we're going to bring the same mindset into that one too. Did it feel like a game seven? Did, yeah. It was uh, win or go home. And uh, there were, it wasn't an easy um, game by any stretch. You're never comfortable. Um, the other team's doing what they do. Uh, we had chances. Their goaltender played well. Our goaltender played well. Um, tonight's result could have went either way, like most games in this series. And uh, for us, we're going to have to make sure that we make a few adjustments, that we continue to maximize our daily opportunity to rest and recuperate. And we're going to have to be uh, even better come game six. We know that. We're not... Uh, um, 
you know, fooling ourselves by any stretch that it, this gets easier. We know it gets harder. Um, like I said, we'll enjoy tonight, we'll rest, and we'll get pr ready for uh, Monday night. Uh, earlier on Twitter today, there's a little bit of talk of Josh Curry not scoring. Where has Josh mm -hmm. Curry gone in eight games yet? He was still being effective on both sides of the puck. How rewarding is it to see a guy like number 18, assistant captain for this team, get on the board with his first? Yeah, he, Josh is um, he's the junkyard dog and uh, someone who, um, what a story for the organization. This guy started in the East Coast League. He fought his way up to an American Hockey League contract. Uh, last year, he earned an NHL contract. He played his first NHL hockey this year and made a contribution. Um, and then now to score such an important goal for our team. Um, Josh Curry's in our lineup and he's contributing every night. And sometimes uh, his game isn't just measured in, in goals and assists. It, it comes in subtleties and little details. And uh, like I said, he's our junkyard dog. Did you hear you hear his yeah, yeah, yeah from the bench? Because yeah. I definitely heard it from the from Yeah, the and you know what, that's, that's something we talk about, uh, especially you know, I think when you go into these overtime periods, it's not you're not going in to give a win one for the Gipper kind of speech. It's very simple and direct. And one of the things that we talk about is is making sure that we are talking out there. Uh, and when you're talking out there, that means you're fast. Uh, you're fast in your execution. You're fast in knowing where your teammates are. And um, I did hear that. Like I said, I, I knew it was coming because they talked about it on the bench, but it doesn't happen without the win. It was a clean win from McLeod. Uh, proud of that line. And uh, like I said, we're going to enjoy it here for 10 or 15 minutes.